The picture on the ground, let's uh, get some perspective on what's been happening. Mohamed Khatabi is a spokesman for the opposition Yemeni National Council, joining us now by Skype from London. Uh, Mr Khatabi, what's your view on what's been happening in Sana? Uh, my, my name is Kobati, Dr Kobati, yes. Uh, obviously, we are today facing quite a hideous and barbarous act by the regime, whereby it, this is a pre-planned uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, activity they have planned for hitting these demonstrators who are going to move peacefully. They knew before then that this is going to be today a, a movement by the youths. Instead of uh, giving them, allowing them uh, to uh, demonstrate peacefully, they have uh, actually arranged for this massacre to happen. It was quite obvious that the uh, regime has today even planned to, instead of somehow only receiving two hours of electricity, today electricity was there all the time. They wanted these barbarous acts to be shown by television so as to frighten the youth and to scare them from moving in the future towards, you know, uh, uh, g getting down the remains of the regime. And uh, Dr. Kibati, what, what, how do you think uh, the use of the opposition movement will react to what's happened now? I think, uh, you know, the, the opposition and, and the, the, the forces of the revolution were all the time looking for a, push, a peaceful uh, forward way for this uh, uh, revolution. But uh, it's quite wor worrying that uh, once you have got uh, the uh, regime using uh, such a force, which is quite an indisc indiscriminately against uh, peaceful demonstrators, then this actually raises uh, very high the possibility of a confrontation. We don't want such a confrontation at all. I think the regime has found itself cornered that the whole world now and the regional uh, uh, countries around the region have been asking for a signing of the initiative, the GC initiative, and they're trying now to run away from such a, 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 a move towards signing that initiative. They have planned this beforehand, and I think the world has got to really uh, uh, condemn such act, which is quite uh, 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 obviously a crime against humanity, and they have been actually perpetuating now crimes uh, uh, you know, of war. I think the world have got to speak up. Okay. Uh, and Dr. Kapati, can I just jump in there? When you talk about a, this could lead to a, a, a confrontation, because up until now there hasn't been any uh, reaction by the opposition movement to what's happened, but what do you exactly mean by confrontation? Do you mean other tribal elements from outside Sana getting involved in this? Yes, I think by all, by all means anything could happen. You know, we, we have heard today that the uh, you know the uh, army which has uh, got uh, uh, you know against the regime, they have come out today with uh, a communique saying that uh, they won't allow such acts to be perpetuated without any uh, punishment or confrontation. We have got the tribes, and after all, all the people you know in the country. I think anywhere else uh, we would see tomorrow movements across all the country. I think from east, north, south, everywhere. Uh, moving against such, uh, you know, crimes which are obviously crimes which nobody would uh, tolerate at all. Mohamed Kabati, spokesman for the opposition Yemeni National Council. Appreciate that. Thanks very much. Thank you.